Good day, STEAM fans, and today we're going to be discussing um, quick tips on um, boiler level checkouts. One of the key things of the safe operation of any STEAM boiler is how much water is in the boiler. And that's determined by the sight glass. And I think you can see here that the water level is right about there, which is uh, probably the lower end of the operating level of the sight glass. Um, we want to determine if that is indeed the proper level. And the quickest way to do that is to add a sight glass blowdown valve, which will help keep the sight glass clean and also quickly determine what the level is. And you can see it disappears when I lift that up and the level returns fairly quickly when we shut it off. And so that's been checked out and ready to go. This system has two boilers side by side. This was the one that was shut down for the season. And as you can see here, the water level is, well, it looks like it's empty. But don't be fooled. This, is, this boiler is flooded. To determine that, we open up our drain valve. You can see that the uh, level, so a, a flooded boiler can look like there's no water in the boiler. And one quick test, by sticking something behind the sight glass, you can see that the water in the tube acts like a, a lens and refracts the, the light. And that is a quick way of determining whether you've got a sight glass that is flooded, not necessarily means the boiler is flooded. Uh, I've seen sight glasses that look like they're flooded, but in fact there's no water in it at all because the bottom uh, fitting has been uh, clogged. And again, we determine that is whether or not the uh, go. So that is a quick differential between a flooded boiler and a boiler that has no water in it at all is the refraction of the flooded boiler.